So hi and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today I'm going to be showing you the 1080 Ti from MSI. This is the Armor version. I'm going to show you here the hash rate using Etherminer to give you an example of what you can get out of this card and the power consumption and what overclock settings will achieve that and give you kind of an idea over the stage of five profiles, what clock settings you can use, what hash rate you'll get and what power consumption you should expect to get from this card. I'll put a link in the description below to a 1060 that I've done, a 1070 MSI armor version as well with Samsung memory and also the mining rig configuration that I'm using here to show you the power consumption. A few caveats, every card is slightly different, so these are only an example of what this card can achieve. This is the Macron RAM version as well. This card I purchased for UK pounds and the 1070 I purchased for £400. So trying to see what you get extra for your UK pounds. Or 70 US dollars. So straight out of the box here, the card set with no overclock settings using the default MSI Afterburner software here, and its draw is 44.3 watts. That's including the CPU. That's what it's idling at, at the moment with no additional tweaks on the core. If we open up the miner here, you'll see what the GPU hash rate is as well. Give you an idea of what you get for that consumption. So out of the box here, this card pulls around 25 to 26 mega hash here, sitting at the high 25s, and it's using 185 watts with no clocking settings. I expect this card to benchmark around the same ether hash, cost you more money and use more power compared to a normal 1070, the same brand. If you want to compare those two, like I say, check out the 1070 video I've done the MSI. It's exactly the same as this video, and it'll show you the same clock settings or near enough to give you an idea of the difference for your money. So the first overclock setting here, I've dropped the power consumption down by 20% to 80. I've set the temperature limit to 85, the overclock core to 100 and the memory clock to 400. You can see here straight off the bat, it's already doing 28 mega hash-ish, 27, 28 mega hash. And its power consumption is 191 watts. So moving on to profile two, the only difference I've changed here is I've moved the memory clock up to 600 from 400. It's pulling around 29 to 30 hash here and it's using 191 watts. So the next profile, I've changed the clock, memory clock speed to 800 here, and we're starting to see 30 to 31 mega hash. It's still drawing 189 watts. So the power consumption is around the same. Maybe the power is a little bit high, and you're getting 30 to 31 hash. So let's max out the card here and see what it'll do. It might crash, we'll see. So the final setting here, before I go into my clock settings here is I've turned the clock speed up to 1000 you can see it's not having a very good time at all here it's starting to pixelate artifact pulling 191 watts we are starting to get 32 and a half mega hash here but it's not very good here it's starting to pixelate so we don't want to run it at this temperature for too long so let's bring it back down to what settings I found to be optimal for this card and what power consumption that's drawing for you here so here we are on the final one it's pulling in around 32 mega hash to 31 mega hash the memory core clock speed is set to 925. I can't get any more at the core clock speed. It just seems to artifact and I can't go any higher on the core memory here. The other differences have dropped the power down to 60% and this pulls in around 154 watts. So it's still higher than the 1070 standard. And that was around 139 watts and that's pulling around 32 to 33 mega hash. If you want to see that video, like I said, I'll put it in the link in the description below. Let me know what the GPU you want me to test here or what else you'd like me to change. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all again later. Thanks a lot.